Hey, Mr. Zam here, and welcome back to another episode of FTV Ocean Block. In the last episode, we, we managed to make this awesome energy production, powerful and self-sufficient, by the way. And uh, yeah, we have also established, or rather fixed, our lava production as well, right? So we have all of these jars producing lava for us, and yeah, we're all good in there. But then another issue came in. And that is power transportation. This dimensional cells is good and all, but it's not enough. Right? It can only input and output 1,250 RF per tick. And uh, well, these machines right here are consuming more than that. So yeah, we need to fix that one. And I believe I might make use of, let's see if I can, yeah, I, I, I've actually, <laughs> explored the nether and i've got i've got all of this yeah we can make use of tesseract actually but it takes you know it it's kind of tedious to craft tesseract and so probably the best approach that we can go is through flux networks but flux networks is well oh they changed it they changed the recipe by the way this is the latest version now and yeah this is something new i didn't know this was a thing let us first open up some crates and barrels for again i've explored the nether in between episodes there's really nothing too fancy you know to talk about there but i think it's more important to talk about the loot that i've gotten so this is pretty much it you know the the first half of exploration right because little did i know that you can actually uh silk touch these guys right here can bring home some more loot with us so yeah that's what i did in the second half of exploration so for the first half this is all that we have you know nothing too fancy really but we did get a wither rose that is a good thing and as well as the nether star we got this drop spindle which it says here chance to repair your armor while fighting your enemies that is good stuff right there and then this one is a wither nail you wither enemies we got warm void falling into a void will send you to your spawn point that is really good for the end I think I'm not sure <laughs> this one right here golden swatter one hit kill silverfish and endermite good stuff then we got another rock candy which I think I'm just going to recycle this then octopus leg chance when an enemy attacking you they will drop their weapons so that is cool stuff now all I think we need to do next is to actually learn all of this uh, yeah the rock candy we already have that one so let's Recycle you. Wait, wait, what do we get from that? Try, um, I don't know. And then these guys right here. Wither Nail and Drop Spindle. And I think I'm going to be using this one right here. Chance to repair your armor while fighting your enemies. Now let's open the barrels that I've uh, silk touched in during the exploration in the nether. So a bunch of red barrels. You know, I do, I think, I want to test this one first. Does Ultimine work with this? It does. It does work. Okay. So that's cool. We can just, like, silk, or rather, Ultimine all this. Look at that. Look at all these goodies. All right, let's get this. So we got knockback resistance. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Flame lily seeds. Wow, what does this drop? There's no uses whatsoever. Okay, tons of good stuff. Off to the green barrels now. And then... Oh, we got shiny diamonds. Okay, not so interesting. Uh, butcher cleaver. Alright. And then another raw candy. Alright, that wasn't... S oh, we got a miner's pick. Alright, nice. You know what, let me actually... So let me get some more jelly babies. Let me actually learn that one. Improve mining speed. Cool. Alright, I also, I also want the knack pack. So jelly beans. Here we go. 
Let's learn, I think that's lacking. So let's learn again another one. Thagolem. Alrighty. Cool. So we got spice cake, ender slime sapling, uh, post box, I don't need those. Liquid trash cans, compressed one, chiseled. Yes, also hovering glass, let's put that one. Uh, oak drawer one by one, I actually need this for today's episode. Mana diamonds, iron spikes. Yeah, and then I'll be trashing all of the other stuff. Off to the green barrels now, or rather gold barrels. Okay, <gasps> yes. Nice. I also have the star. Two stars. Okay. I think those are good stuff now. So we got this. Right. And then I think we can recycle this. This one will give us iron. Or rather gold ingot. Debris scrap. Sure. Projectile. Another mending. That's good. Cool. Right, ender tanks, nice. Consumption upgrade, I'll take those. Right, on to the purple barrels now. And then we got... Ooh, okay. Not so exciting, except for that one. That is a turtle trinket. Not this one. This one right here. It says here, you can breathe underwater. <gasps> Finally. Jesus, I don't have to worry about uh, running out of air when swimming. So let's uh, let's get some more jelly babies. God, this is so exciting. There we go. Let's put this. You know what? It might be best as well. Let's see. Let's get rid of this one right here. And then let's add in this one right here. Starfish. Cool. Now for the interesting part. This is, I think, probably the most uh, OP crate that we could get, that we could loot with. Because this one will give us a lot of loot. So it, oh my god, let's go. It gave us Wyvern Energy Controllers. And I believe this can be used. Oh yeah, look at that. We can even recycle this. Yeah, this is this is important. Let's uh let's put that onto our storage system. All right. So that's pretty much it for the uh Nether loot exploration kind of stuff. You know, I didn't show any footage of me looting, but well, it's not interesting really. <laughs> Nothing of interest that we will find in that uh exploration right there. So, yeah, let's uh let's just move on to that and yeah, get into the agenda of today's episode. For the agenda of today's episode, we have three goals, right? The miscellaneous collect re quest rewards, and I think I don't have any quest rewards. Oh yeah, the pack has updated, right? And then we have more stuff, like we, we have more rewards now for the sluices part, as you can see there, right? And then I think that's pretty much it. Also, yeah, for the barrels that I, that I have uh, broken, can also grab those now so yeah let's just click this magician blood orb material stonework factor i actually like to have one more of that so that is cool so cobblestone yeah let's put this into our for the material stonework factory let's put that one right there all right so miscellaneous done uh let's first make the main goal of today's episode that is drawer storage system right as i mentioned for the past two episodes that i'll be putting some drawer system right over there but first let us uh make the dome right so i have all of that prepared i don't have any but i don't have the materials just yet but if i do this if i enable preview mode this is what the dome sh will look like right when when we build it so it's kind of looking nice actually. So let's break a 3x3 three three area here. And this is going to be like our entrance of some sort. And yeah, we're going to be putting some like drawers onto the sides. And then in the very middle is the refined storage. 
pretty cool, right? So then I think, let's see, I don't know how many blocks that is, but I think that's more than three stacks. And yeah, I've been smelting some Tinker's glass, as you can see here. Yeah, I like the clear glass very much. And then I kind of want to tint this glasses right here. So let's see. I want gray, I think. While, you know what, while we are waiting for some other materials, you know, to be processed so that our dome will be completed uh let us first solve one of the issues that we've encountered which is the power transportation so as you can see in my inventory we have a flux point and as well as a flux plug right so these two right here or rather this flux point right here will insert power to the machines while for the flux plug will uh, accept energy from a machine so since we want to accept power from these gas burning generators right here we need we need actually first to grab a energy interface an energy interface this one right here and then let's put that onto the top which it's so hard to actually you know what let's go to the back destroy the wall this one right here all right something like that and then let's put this uh, energy interface up top something like that and then this flux plug should now connect from there now we need first to uh, by the way the reason why we're doing this again so that we can tap onto the buffer of these gas burning generators and now uh, we're not limited to the xnet's uh, power transportation right so with this uh, we can just like directly tap onto the gas burning generators. So now let's make a network. Let's just say this one is Mr. Zam's network. Why not? And then let's put this on public. And then I do like the color of gold, yellowish. So they guys create, click. Right. So that is good and all. Now it's time to connect this flux point to our sluices in this compact machine. Now I'm not sure if uh, this can directly connect to the pipes pipe or pipes uh, energy pipe, but let's uh, let's see. So let's put that one right there. Yeah, it, I think it does. I'm not sure. So now if I do this. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait. I do need to wrench this. I think it is working. I think it is working. Yeah, it is working. Look at that. Why is this not connecting? I think we're limited onto the pipes now. I'm not sure, but I think. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. <laughs> so I need to upgrade this. Do I have like a pipe as upgrade? That's a big no. Oh yeah, but we can just easily make these guys. Look at that. Alright. So, let's see. I don't know. So... Uh, we're now transferring 800. Or rather, 8192 FE per tick. So that's cool. And as you can see, everything is back to normal. Right, but the thing is... Uh, we're almost full on storage, so let me actually first. Uh, how do I? How do I? I can limit this to transfer only zero for now, All right? So that will pause these machines, and then we'll just put it back on once we've. Uh, what you call this? Once we've situated our drawer system right there. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this thing to be done I think we're lacking around half a stack so I think this is more than enough I do hope so all done and dusted all right so now let's uh make a tiny hole here uh, I need my cobblestone there you go so you 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 there we go and then break this 
Alrighty, there we go. Right. Look at this. This is looking fancy. Right, so let me grab all the drawers that I need. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Because, well, drawers... Or I mean, you know what? I think we can just grab those. Like, with ease. Because I've been uh, delogging some trees for like the past few episodes you can see here. <laughs> So let's see, drawer. I only need one by one. Right, I also need the trims actually. No, not that one. This one right here. So I need a bunch of these guys right here. So how many can you make? Only six. What? Let's make. Oh god, the chest. Let's make this. Uh, I need a stack. There we go. I think that's more than enough. Let's make a bunch of these. Uh, there we go. I think that is good for now. Oh no, it's still crafting. <laughs> whoa, 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 chill, chill. Okay. I also need a drawer controller. This one right here. So I'm missing one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, drawer, controller. There we go. Alrighty. So then, uh, I want my drawer controller to be in this spot right here. And then surround that with one by one. Rather, not one by one. But instead, I want some compacting drawers there. Right? So, and then I also want... Since we're going to be putting compacting drawers there, we need to connect the drawers here using this trim right here. And then one by one. Something like so. Then same goes to the other side. One by one. And then trim again here. And then one by one. Actually in the middle, in this spot right here, we will be using trims to connect the side, this side right here. Right, so yeah, it's just a matter of uh, putting the drawers, and yeah, uh, I'll be right back once all of them is situated. Okay, everything is situated now. We have all of our drawers up and set up. And yeah, we also have our ores, you know, uh, whitelisted to the drawers as well. So uh, now the, the next thing that we need to do is to do the logistics of this. Uh, what I did here is, is I basically put some clusters in there so that we can like whitelist what the drawer should accept and then yeah for the logistics of this I'm going to make use of uh, this one right here ender chests right so uh, in the back this one right here I'm going to get rid of this something like that and also this and then we will put one ender chest onto the side and then one trash can to this side right here. And then I'm going to make use of, again, integrate dynamics. And then just set the tick rate to maybe 20. I don't know. So I need a cable. This one right here. Here we go. I'll need one. Alright, so I'll put you there. Now we want this to be on a higher priority. So let's put this on a higher priority, save. And then anything that is not in the drawer will just be yeeted onto this item trash can that we have right here. So now let's uh, reduce the tick operation of this so that we don't lag that much. Probably, maybe, uh, 20. Right, I think that's good. And then let's put this on. Yeah, maybe 64 is good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. So then, variable card. There we go. Alright, so then let's set up the logistics of our sluices. So this is it, right? 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of again the crate to instead of just vacuuming all of this outputs right here I'm going to include as well the nether part since well we've pretty much inputted all of it into the drawer now so yeah this is it right I'm also going to put one drawer or rather crate in there so I just need a regular crate this one right here put that one in there and uh, this crate will be responsible for vacuuming the nether rack nether rack <laughs> so this one i think this one is the whitelist nether rack yeah this one right here so whitelist nether rack and then this one right here should be blacklist nether rack okay there we go and then for this other item filter let's put the ender chest up top something like so or we could just like put it onto the back really yeah you know what let's put it on the, onto the back so this one right there here we go so ender chest up top and then we'll make use of this vac or hopper upgrade to uh auto push to push items up to the onto the ender chest and then we'll just make use of this filter right here this filter is basically blacklisting all of the chunks right so we're, we're only storing the clusters right in our drawer system and so yeah we need to whitelist or rather blacklist all of the chunks instead so hopper settings let's uh push to the top with this filter right here there we go right so i think that is everything pretty much summed up so this one should be two by two the collection system should be i think this is uh west and east so west four there you go yeah that looks right so now if we start the system right so if i power this let's say let's limit this to 2k can i do that hello 2k uh we're past way that one there we go to five two thousand five hundred i guess that's more than enough as you can see our chunks are staying in the large crate but everything else is pushed to the top right so this is basically it like pretty much all summed up all right so then uh this netherrack right here we can just like auto pull this pulverizer and yeah it will just pulverize the netherrack for us okay yeah i think that's all good for this part right here and for this part right here look at that all all done and dusted so yeah, I think the, the tech per operation is not keeping up so well. So let's bump this one up to how about just 10 ticks save. Okay, it's still not keeping up. All right, you know what? Maybe let's just say that this one should be 5. So it should keep up pretty much now right yeah look at that right so as you may have noticed as well in our drawer system that uh we have not inputted our blood shroom warp fungus crimson fungus and nether sprouts in here well for i don't really need them so yeah i'm not going to put this include this onto our trash or to our drawer system but instead i'm going to just trash them directly so now if i put these guys right here as you can see it is uh well yielded to the trash can so that's basically it that's basically all of this done and dusted we're all good on our sluices now in drawer system i think 
that will be it for today's episode right we don't have to worry about uh storage of some sort or well this is pretty much all done so guys if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe as well for more contents like this see you in the next episode as always have a nice day peace out